Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can access the options in Word to change operational aspects of the application. Note that changing the default options in Word can change the default behavior of the program and therefore should only be performed by advanced users who thoroughly understand the options. In this lesson, we will review some of the most commonly used options in Word. Some of these options have already been discussed at various points in this tutorial in the context of their use within the application. You can access the default options in Word by clicking the File tab within the ribbon and then clicking the Options button in the lower left corner of the Command Panel. This will open the Word Options dialog box. In this dialog box, you begin by clicking on the name of an option category shown in the list of categories at the left side of the window. The options that you can then set for the selected category will appear in the right pane of the window. Note that many of the options are self-explanatory. However, some of the options that may need some explanation appear in the options section with a small I at the right end. If you hold your mouse pointer over the I icon, a screen tip will appear that gives you a bit more information on the use of that option. If you click the general category, you can set options that can customize your user interface, set the default user information that is stored with documents, and set the startup options. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes shown to enable or disable the features shown. Also, you can customize your copy of Word by entering your username and initials into the text boxes provided. If you click the Display category, you will see options that allow you to change how Word displays the contents of your documents. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes here to enable or disable the display of on-screen page options, on-screen special characters, or printed page options. If you click the Proofing category, you will see default proofing options. As you saw in the chapter on using the spelling and grammar tool from Introductory Word, these options control the behavior of tools such as autocorrect and the spelling and grammar tool. You can check or uncheck the options here to change the settings used by these tools when proofing document content. If you click the Save category, you will see options that allow you to change how documents are saved by default within Word. In the Save Documents section, you can use the Save File in This Format drop-down to set the default document format to use when saving Word documents. You can also set the default behavior of the Auto Recover feature, choosing how often this information is saved and where the information is saved. Also, when saving your documents, you can set a new default folder to which you can save the documents by clicking the Browse button at the right end of the Default File Location text box. This will open the Modify Location dialog box where you can browse to the new default folder into which you want to save your Word documents. Once you've selected the folder, just click the OK button to set the folder and return to the Word Options dialog box. If you click the Language category, you can set the display language used for editing, display, and help within the program. If you click the Advanced category, you will see many of the advanced options for all categories. Each set of advanced options is grouped together by subcategory at the right side of this panel. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes to enable or disable the features shown within each section. If you click the Customize Ribbon category, you can customize the ribbon by adding, renaming, or removing tabs, groups, and buttons from the ribbon, as we saw in Lesson 22.3, Assigning Macros in 2010 Only, from the last chapter. If you click the Quick Access Toolbar category, you can customize the Quick Access Toolbar by adding, renaming, or removing buttons, as we saw in Lesson 22.3, Assigning Macros in 2010 Only, from the last chapter. If you click the Add-ins category, you can see external programs that are allowed to interact with Word. If you click the Trust Center, you can manage security settings for Word. It is recommended you do not change these settings. 
Now once you have set the options that you would like, just click the OK button to set the new default options for Word. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.